Hello everybody, it is Drew Cole here, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 2 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. When Mario opened a door after climbing a long stair in his dream, another world spread before him, and he heard a voice call for help to be fr fi free from a spell. After awakening, Mario went to a cave nearby, and to his surprise, he saw exactly what he saw in his dream. Did any of you get that? I didn't. Let's just get started. Okay, well, um, yeah, I, I just did Super Mario Bros. 1, I finished that, uh, Tuesday, and, uh, today's Thursday, the day you're seeing this, so that means we're doing Mario 2! So, uh, something different is that you can actually choose your character, um, which is cool. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing, since I'm really weird, is I'm going to be, um, going in a pattern, so, uh, first Mario, Luigi, Toad, Peach, and just continuing to go in that pattern. Not, I'm not gonna use the same character the whole time. I'm not gonna do random, I'm just gonna do, you know, you know, just the pattern. Alright, well, that means we're starting off with Mario. World 1-1. So, this game works a lot differently than Mario 1, and, well, it has a lot of explaining to do. I think... Some people consider this game to be the weirdest Mario game ever, and there's actually a story behind why it's so weird. I'll get into that later, but for now... Ah, oh, crap. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to cut it because I had to change the controls on the uh, Virtual Console, because I am doing this on the Wii U Virtual Console. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I was just saying, uh, this game is real. some people say this is the weirdest uh, Mario game. Um, it actually does have a story behind why it's so weird. So, Mario 1, you jumped on Goombas, and I'm standing on top of this shy guy. Well, to kill enemies in this game, you stand on top of them, pick them, pick them up, and throw them. I'm pretty sure this is the only... I'm not sure, but this is the only game that really does this in, in Mario. Mainly because of that story I keep mentioning that I won't explain until later. So, the controls, uh, press... Press A to jump, hold down B to run, use the D-pad to move, start to pause, and I don't think select does anything. Uh, you can press the B button to pick up stuff. That includes uh, enemies, sprouts, and yeah. Uh, so we can pick this up and we get a door. Um, this leads into a world called Subspace. This is not referring to the Subspace Emissary from Smash. It's just called Subspace. That's what that world is called. And that world contains mushrooms, which give you an extra heart. As you can see, uh, the left, the top left, I have like three little um, symbols that represent my health. If they're white, then I don't have a, I don't have an extra hit. So, uh, yeah, so also I got coins. There's going to be a slot machine at the end of each level, and uh, the number of coins, uh, if you get a, I, I'm so bad at explaining stuff. Um, if you get like three coins, you have three chances at uh, doing a slot, the slot machines. Uh, come up here, you can get a one-up, you can pick it out of the ground. Ground. So, yeah. Uh, these cherries I keep collecting. If you collect five cherries, then you get a star, which obviously serves the same purpose in every single Mario game, you're invincible. So, go in the door by pressing up, and uh, we're in this little underground section. Now, just like Mario 1, there is a way to warp, and I'm not going to be doing that, um, because <clears throat> I'm going to be showing off all the levels, um, but at the end of the Let's Play, I will show you how to warp. Yeah. Um, so what, what should I explain now? Um, oh, crap. Okay, there's a door. Uh, the next mushroom's right here. There are two... Oh, wow. I appeared right on it. Uh, there are two mushrooms in each stage. Uh... I, I, yeah, so I already got the two. I don't know where every single mushroom is, so don't count on me for that, but some levels are a lot easier than others. And, uh, I, I can't really decide what to do. Uh, I don't know if I should do two worlds per video. Oh, I just picked up a clock that stops everything, uh, for a limited time. That just, you know, freezes everything. Uh, oh, shoot. The, you can climb these vines course with up I think I might just do two worlds per episode because this level is taking a long time and I thought 
Like, Mario 3 has just the shortest levels, so it's ridiculous. Anyway, every single level, except for one level, has a boss. And and if it's a boss level, then it won't have this boss. But every every level, you will fight this creature named Birdo. Um, I really don't know why he's named Birdo, because... Well, in, in the credits of this game, they uh, show all of the enemies in the game all their names, and this guy's name is Ostro. That's what it says, but for whatever reason, in the newer Mario games, his name is Birdo. Well, all you gotta do is he throws eggs, you gotta jump on the eggs, pick them up, and throw them back at him. Uh, and then he drops this, pick that up, and go in his mouth. That's a level. Okay, so I got five coins, so I have five chances. So, uh, if you get a cherry, if you get a cherry in the first slot, then you automatically get a one-up. I'm really bad at this, so I haven't won. Okay, come on. Oop. Aw. Oh, wow. Okay, one more chance. Aw, oh, shoot. Okay. Well, <sighs> that is all luck-based. Alright, so now I'm going to be paying, uh, playing as Luigi. Never explained it, but Mario, really, there's nothing special about him. He's just normal Mario. He's this. He picks plants the second fastest, I think. Uh, Luigi has the highest jump. So with these guys, the, the magic carpet guys, you pick them up, throw them, and you now you have his magic carpet. It could be a hurt, I don't know. Um, and then you just ride it all the way to the end. And uh, okay. Uh, oh shoot! I should have brought that farther. Oh no, it's fine. So, these things right here, uh, I'll see them once I get into the normal world. Uh, these things are the pipes. Sort of, they act as the pipes in this game. And, uh, that first one has a one up. Now, these pipes, um, my sister always thought that these were, um, Dunkin' Donuts cups. Which, I, I believe her. Uh, before I get back to that, though, I just picked up a key, and, um, once you pick up a key, I always forget the enemies' names in this game, but the guy will come and chase you, and if you put down the key, then he'll stop chasing you, and so just pick it up and pick it up to the door. And then over here we have bombs, uh, of course they work like any normal bombs, you put them there and they can explode dirt, just like that. And yeah, those guys are called Sniffits, they actually make a return in newer Mario games. They just shoot stuff at you, so make sure you be careful. And there we go. Uh, so, cool fact, this is actually my sister's favorite video game of all time. This game right here. But she, Not this version, though. The GBA version. This game was remade twice uh, for the Game Boy. One of the remakes was for the Game Boy. I love that game, and that's her favorite game. It's you so... Yeah, and she always thought the pipes looked like Dunkin' Donuts cups. So, yeah. God dang it. So anyway, second fight of Birdo. Birdo will not always be the same. He does change, so it's not the same easy fight every time. Now, make sure you time your throws really, uh, goodly. Make sure you time your throws, because, um, you can throw your egg onto another egg. So, yeah, be careful of that. Man, I'm just not doing good. Alright, next is Toad. Some people... A lot of people hate Toad, and a lot of people love Toad. Um, some people overlook what he does. Uh, Toad has the worst jump, but he does pick up plants the fastest. So he pretty much is the best in a speed run. Like, look how fast I'm picking up this stuff. Bam, see? Done already. There you go. Ah! Great. That'll happen so many times where I just open a door and there's an enemy right outside and I walk right into it. Hooray. Oh! Look, I got five cherries. Hooray, star. Okay. So, uh, each world has three levels. Uh, this is the third level of world one. Oh my god. S go away, go away! <sighs> By the way, I suck at this game. I actually think that this... This game is actually harder than Mario 1. And that's kind of saying saying something. I'm going to die here. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I died. Hooray. Um, as I was saying, though, there are three levels in each world. And, uh, man, I've never died there. 
three levels in each world, and, uh, yep. So, typically, level three is sort of like a dungeon, kind of. So, yeah, I actually really like this level. Although, I, I swear, guys, I've never died in this part right here. It's just the Let's Play curse, if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um... These are these are just blocks. You can pick them up and just throw them there. Of course, they don't they don't really do anything except for act as an extra boost. Oh yeah, the thing I just did there. Uh, if you hold down, you can duck. But if you hold it down even longer, you start flashing, and then you get a super jump. So make sure you keep that in mind. They actually kept that around and used them in the newer Mario games, which is kind of cool. Anyway, uh, come up here. Uh, you're gonna want to grab the key and bring it down. Like this. Now with the keys, the cool, the cool, the cool thing about the keys is that you can actually kill enemies with it to like move enemies out of your way. We're actually gonna see that in just a minute here. Uh, shy guy. See, I just killed that guy with a key. Uh, be careful to sniff it. Just careful, and make sure you land to the right because there are spikes, and spikes are bad. This part is usually where I have my first death, but I had it at a stupid part. <clears throat> I'm actually really nervous for this because um, I, I'm going into this with no practice at all. I mean, obviously I've beat the game plenty of times, but I, I, have, I have not played this game in like a year, I think. Yeah, about a year. So, yeah, this is like my first time playing in a while. Anyway, here we have the first main boss. This guy's name is Mauser. Uh, and what he does is he throws bombs. You gotta clear the wall, and here he is. So you gotta pick up the bombs in midair. You could pick them up on the ground, but that's a little bit risky. And then, uh, you have to aim them at him. Now, uh, the boom animation that these, uh, bombs make, it, he needs to be inside of that boom animation. If he's not, then you're, you're not hitting him. Now, he could actually, he could actually just walk right into it. But see, he only takes three hits, so that was a really easy boss. He actually just walks right into the boom animation. Alright, well that's world one. So now we're moving on to the fourth and final character, the princess. My favorite character, because she hovers like this. Hold down the jump button, and look at that. So she has the longest jump. I love that. They actually brought that back uh, recently in Super Mario 3D World. It's really cool. Uh, which one of these is the door? This one, good. Shut up, friends. Alright. Uh, the only bad thing about Peach is that she's the slowest, um, I don't know how to say this, pick-a-rupper? She's, so she's the complete opposite of Toad. She has an amazing jump, but she, she picks up stuff extremely slow. So, uh, the uh, world two is a desert. I think world one is just a grassland. World two is a desert, like normal. Um, but in the desert, uh, there you got these parts where you dig sand, so you, you just dig it. Oh man! So uh, I never actually explained why uh, this game is so weird. Okay, so this game has a long backstory to it. It is kind of ridiculous. So, um. Back in 1985, 1985 to 1988, I think, well, that was cool, uh, Super Mario Bros. 1 had come out. That game was so popular that it there had to be a sequel to it. And, uh, well, kind of didn't work out. So what happened was, uh, if anybody's familiar with the Super Nintendo game, Super Mario All-Stars, there's an extra game on there called Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. And and what that game is, it was originally going to be Super Mario Bros. 2, but it only got released... Ooh, I don't want to... It only got released in Japan because uh, they thought it was too hard. And really it is. It is super, super difficult. I've actually, I haven't not, I have not beaten it myself, so, yeah, I'm really, I, I don't know when I'll ever get to that game, I'll, I'll eventually get to it, because, I mean, I'm gonna have to, because I'll have to let's play it for you guys, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not easy, I'm gonna have to do it soon, shoot, 
Um, hopefully you cannot hear that. Get the mushroom. Uh, okay. So, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so anyway, so they released that, but meanwhile there was another game going on, uh, that they were making called Doki Doki Panic. It was a game that was in Japan, and, uh, well, it was originally gonna be this game. But, uh, instead all the characters were, like, family members, I th so, yeah, um, there we go. So, instead of releasing Doki Doki Panic, uh, and Super Mario Bros. 2, the original one, they actually just decided to make Doki Doki Panic a, uh, Mario game and put Mario characters in it and just release that instead which um, I really don't hate their decision because I love this game this is a really fun game it is really really hard though if you want to play ah oh, shoot if you want to play this game but like an easy version of it oh my god I'm such a noob if you want to play an easy version of this game then definitely get the Game Boy Advanced version uh, you can actually get it on the Wii U uh, virtual console, so yeah. If you if if you want um, a really easy version of this game, then definitely get that. Then definitely get Super Mario Advanced for the Game Boy Advanced. Anyway, yeah, that's this game's whole backstory. Um, yeah. So ever since this game, the the concept of picking up plants hasn't been used. It's sort of been used, but kind of kind of not. Um, the last time we saw this concept uh, was in the game Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. They actually use, uh, gosh, they actually use uh, plants in that game, like you know the ones that you pick out of the ground. Um, that's the last time that we've seen uh, them. Uh, we haven't seen them in any like games where you're controlling Mario. Oh shoot! You're supposed to take the right. Oh man, I was I was totally not paying attention. If I if I were paying attention, then I would have known that because I know that about this level. Oh man, this is hard. Oh. Okay, we're good. Uh, I hope. Yeah, but uh, cool thing though is that uh, as of right now, uh, about a week, le a little bit less than a week ago, we were shown the Nintendo Switch. Uh, uh, presentation. Oh, by the way, these eggs, they can actually hit you when they're falling down. When they reach the wall, they actually, they can actually hit you. Before I get back to that, here's a new type of birdo. Uh, sometimes he throws out eggs, sometimes he doesn't, and that was great. What the heck is Mario's face when he dies? Okay. So what I like to do... Oh, shoot. Yeah, you don't actually have to do a uh, oh wait, yeah, just toss this up here. So what I usually like to do with these red birdos is, uh, oh my god, that was great, is use the block. That's a lot better, because you could accidentally just jump into a fireball. We haven't, we haven't seen it yet, but he, yeah, see right there. It's completely random uh, that he throws a fireball instead of an egg, so be careful of that. There we go. Alright, one more level, and then I'll end the video. Oh man. <gasps> oh, man. In in Super Mario All Stars, uh, you you only have to press the button once and it triggers all three. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's do level two, three. Okay. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, a little bit less than a week ago, the Nintendo Switch uh, presentation was just shown, and it showed Super Mario Odyssey, which <clears throat> I am super excited for I they they Nintendo was dumb and decided to release it in the holiday season when they were releasing breath of the wild at launch it's like come on anyway in the trailer for about three seconds it's actually showing Mario carrying a uh, turnip that's in this game S so Last time we saw that was in Captain Toad, and we were not controlling Mario. That's Captain Toad, so... It's really cool that, uh, in the new Mario Odyssey game, we're gonna be seeing, uh, this whole thing again. God. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, so, I'm really excited for that. Also, super excited for a Nintendo Switch. Holy crap. Uh, March 3rd is not even that, that far away. So many people are talking about it. I'm so excited. Anyway, and enough about Nintendo Switch, and let's get back to talking about the 80s. Which is this game. Make sure you try to get some of the cherries, because with with a star, you can just dig to your free will and not worry about Shy Guys. Oh, shoot. Uh, it, this, this part, it does not matter what path you take, so don't worry about that! Oh, man, that was close. I'd say Luigi's probably my second favorite character. Mainly like, just because of his jump. Honestly, I could care less about, like, throwing, like, like, picking up plants the fastest. Because that's what Toad does. Toad's my favorite character. Because, really, Mario just doesn't do anything. <laughs> Sorry, Mario, but... Nope. Okay, so, open the door. Come on. Alright, there we go. Oh, shoot! Can I go back? Alright. Uh, little thing you can do in this game... Oh, that's a weird-looking door. Is, uh, it's kind of like, if you've ever played in the arcade, uh, it's called Mario Brothers, a game released for the NES and arcade in 1983 uh, screen wrapping which you can go all the way to the left and appear at the right it happens in Pac-Man also just happens in a lot of old games but I think it's still happened you, you can still find it in 2D games now but yeah I don't know I wish I just thought it was cool anyway uh, here we go uh... And here we have the second boss of the game. This guy's name is Triclyde. Weird name, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's three. It's two heads. Oh, last time. Oh no, it's three heads. One head is like inside of the body because of 2D. Uh, but uh, what you can do, uh, you actually do fight this guy again. Spoiler alert. Um, so, but uh, what I like to do sometimes is make a wall. Well, actually, that wall doesn't really help, because the shots are coming from down there. Okay, never mind. Scratch what I just said. The wall does not help in this fight. Just uh, shoot the uh, blocks. Real quick before I end this boss fight in this video, I forgot to show this. Uh, there are actually two different ways of throwing. If you stand still without pressing the D-pad or anything, and you throw, then it will be a really little shot. But uh, you can actually throw far if you, uh, if you uh, are running and you hold hold down the direction you want to throw on the d-pad and throw at the same time then it goes really far so just do that and you'll defeat this guy also um, if you <laughs> if you want to do a jump you do this but you do let go of whatever you're holding so you cannot do that while you jump which really sucks I don't like how they did that but anyway I think this guy has two hits left oh no there he goes and the door's right there Alright, well, that is going to be it for this episode, guys, uh, once we finish this. Awesome, we got a cherry to end off the episode, cool. Oh, man. Seriously, who thought it was a good idea to put the frickin' right bumper, uh, as, as virtual console menu? Because, like, I'm just setting the gamepad down on my shoulder, or, or, I mean, legs... And, uh, yeah, that's stupid. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode, and I'll see you guys next time where we will tackle Worlds 3 and 4. See you later.